Hey everyone, Arnaldo Offerman of Master School Dances. I want to show you again how easy it is to use the uh, Compu Show. I just added the Aki UFO Pro. As you can tell, I have zero programs made for it. I have switches. And um, well, let me show you how easy it is real quick. First, we're going to go ahead and just uh, get a nice white color. And white switches automatic, the white switch automatically gives me a white. Well, then I'm going to go ahead and choose my pattern, my tilt. This is a switch that moves the actual head of the UFO. But you'll notice that the head is not moving, or the actual UFE part. So we're just going to go ahead and click on platter movement. Now we got a quick, easy show. Of course, I can switch to blue. I can switch to green, red, any of the cool built-in colors. Again, lots of really neat things, right? But we're going to do white for a second. Now, you will notice we have several, um, we have a solid on, which, you know, that we don't need that because it's already on anyways. But let's make it strobe. All right, let me see if I can get it to show. The camera or the, I'm going to shut the platter off for a second. Okay. So you'll notice the strobe there. Let's shut off all movement. Oh, the, you, um, it's not picking it up, the phone, because it's strobing so fast. This is like a medium strobe. I mean, nice. there we go. That's so we have that. Uh, let's go ahead and hit the... And again, super easy, crazy show. It's going to look obviously a lot more amazing with Haze. But again, it gives you a nice true strobe because, you know, first it blanks out this way, then it goes the other way. And of course, I can change the colors right then and there too. Another thing that I thought was actually kind of neat, let's go ahead and shut off all platter movement, is that it also has a, a pulse to the music, which again, you really can't see, but I can have a pulse to the music. And I even have two individuals levels of strobe. So I have like strobe one and strobe two. So if I don't want to have to keep moving the wheel, I can have them exactly where I like. So I can just quickly switch back and forth. Now, the other neat thing is, let's go ahead and go back to normal level. Uh, there's also built-in color patterns. And the color patterns, as you can see there, mean that I don't have to sit there programming this thing for hours. Because it takes a while to program this. Okay, so again, you can see it there, etc. Now you'll notice again a pattern movement. What happens when we spin the platter? Let's go ahead and spin it. So again, it gives you this really trippy movement that the platter is moving, but then again, so are the array of LEDs inside. Allow me to show you. Hang on one second. Let's see if we can get it. Let's see. There we go. So again, really cool chase all the way around. Of course, it looks 10 times more amazing with Haze. This is my favorite right here. You'll notice that the lights are there, but they stop. They're nowhere else in the room, but it slowly, like it only hits like a certain amount of degrees as the platter is moving. So watch it over here. You'll see how the array of lights are slowly moving in the same direction that the platter is moving a lot faster. But let's make now the platter move the other way around. The platter is moving the other way around, but the lights are still going in the same direction. And let me tell you, with, with Haze, this is an absolutely beautiful effect. Let's say I want to make things even trippier. Right? We're going to slow this platter all the way down. Kind of see it there, and I'm going to move the UFO color array really fast. So again, you can actually see how it's going all the way around, despite the fact that the platter is moving in the opposite direction. Again, really trippy effect, especially with haze. It's just an absolutely beautiful light. You'll see it going all the way around. And again, made all that quickly and easy. Just by adding the light in, 
using the, uh, you know, built-in uh, program profiles for the lights. So again, great. I can just plug in a light user right away, not have to worry about, you know, DMX, uh, uh, making DMX shows or anything. Because this is not really a light that you want to do a lot of shows for. Just because there's so many different possibilities that it's going to drive you nuts. You know, of course, I can add shows if I want. If there's a specific thing that I like, I can make a show for it. But why? And people aren't going to really notice the rotation of the UFO as much as the beam movements, the colors, and all that. And I have these ready to go with some great programs. And if all else fails or if I get bored, I can use the internal programs. Or oh, just let the sucker go on standalone. Standalone shows are great. Kudos to American DJ for having somebody that's actually making amazing built-in programs. So, again, my name's Ronaldo Wafferman. Just with the Master School Dances. Freaking love the Aki UFO. Light makes me weep. If you don't have one, get one. Uh, funny little side note, actually. I have a school that specifically booked a larger package uh, just so they could have me as a DJ. Not because they wanted me as a DJ. I mean, they like me and all that, but they would have been happy with any of the other guys. It was because they wanted this light. And this is my baby. Nobody else touches this one. I'm like, sorry, that's my light. You'd have to book a package big enough that I would be there for. And they're like, yeah. Now, Monica likes to pretend that's her light, but we all know the truth here. So... Now the often master school dances, possibly sleeping on the couch tonight. God bless. Oh yeah, you can make that cool little pattern also strobe as well. You'll uh, notice that it's strobing. Monica just saw. I was like, hey, we should make that strobe. Just incredible. Incredible. So yes, there it is. Aki UFO, full of UFO goodness. <laughs>